Hello everyone, my name is Shem and welcome to VFX Kitchen. Uh, 2020, uh, this year is hitting me hard, um, not as expected, but we are going to play with NVIDIA RTX, NGX, SDK. So, um, as you know, NVIDIA is doing a lot of researching about machine learning and using the new tensor cores. So, they are offering some solutions for um, in-painting, uh, slow motion, uh, video super resolution, image super resolution and so on. And it's quite like solid solutions to be used actually in production. Um, but of course, NVIDIA is not giving it away that easy, so you have to apply um, as a developer and they should accept it or not somehow it, it needs like an invitation and um you need kind of um, a company email address it's not just like a gmail or so um but give it a try i don't know i mean uh, for me i was trying to use one of my email accounts it didn't work and then i used my um private email address using my uh, website domain in it and it worked so it was weird so let's just get started and it's basically we have to go for Google write down NVIDIA NGX and then you get into this page um, and it's loading so you can see here they have the end painting you have seen this one many times before the slow motion it's also really nice and super resolution and you have it also for videos um, so to download the SDK you need to join early access to the program I'm sure that you're going to post it for free in the future I mean it's free anyways non-commercially free um, but at the moment it's still not clear how we can join the program um, so let's just go download the SDK join early access now it has to be joined now as you can see it's invitation only program you have to log in and you get your email stuff and that's really annoying thing about this website and that was the reason why I delayed making these videos many times before but lucky for me I downloaded it before and now I have it here in my folder in video NGX. Um, but yeah, so here it is. Um, installing it as basic any uh, NVIDIA driver. Um, I will just show you how we can build it and how to try out the solutions. Uh, so for this I prepared some um, samples. I downloaded it all from the internet. Hopefully it's copyright free. So that's like a low res image and that was like a, just a photo and, and I just made this mask for it. Um, so we are just going to run it in Visual Studio and I will give you some uh, tips because when I tried to build it I had some problem with the uh, current Windows SDK. It told me it needs a like a specific version of Windows SDK and I tried to turn around and find where is the SDK to be downloaded. and it was as simple as that you just go for uh, your Visual Studio uh, download that you had before. I'm doing it in parallel so you can just check it real quick. Um, okay, let me download the NGX SDK. That's the path. Remember it because I tried to change the path to keep the SDK in somewhere other, some other place and it didn't work. I don't know why. It just gave me like an empty folder with the subdirectories inside it, but there's no files, and the files remained in the same path in the program data. Um, okay, so I will just start installing it. So let's keep running in the background. And here, that's what I'm talking about. So when you try to build the solutions with Visual Studio, it will tell you, ah, okay, I need this SDK version of whatever. And here you can do modify and then Cheers. Um, then you go for indiv individual components and down, 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 down here. You will find most of the SDKs. So you can find out where is the number that's required. And that time it was this one. So 10586, this one. You just click it and then you say modify or install and that's it. So in case that you tried out and 
just don't waste much time trying to find out why it's not working. Um, <coughs> okay, so now SDK is downloaded. Cool. Let's open new directory. We go for program data. Uh, we have NVIDIA, NVIDIA Corporation, GPU Corporation, uh, NVIDIA NGX SDK 1.1, and that's it here. Um, of course, most of us don't look into the documentation. Not most of us, to be honest. I look into the documentation. There's too many people I know. A couple of them do look into the documentation. Um, so you can see how we can use the, um, the chapped solution that comes with the SDK. Uh, so if you look into like the super resolution here, you can see how he made it and just talking about it in general and then how to use a sample, like how to call it. Um, <coughs> so in this in this video, I'm just building it in, in, in Visual Studio, trying to run the example, it works, nice. Um, then we will work later on how we can create a GUI and make it as a user-friendly tool because the user will not write every time, every time the command line, input and input image and whatever and so on with all these parameters. So that's the main uh, thinking of um, research and development. I mean, these people do something cool, it looks nice and so on, but it requires uh, like three or four steps to run it. And what we are doing is making it as a nice, friendly tool that you just put an image and you get the output. Um, so let's jump into the Visual Studio and load the solutions. We have samples here, NGX examples or samples. And I'm running it with 2017 and that's it. Um, it was built for Visual Studio 2015, which is quite um, strange. Because RTX is just released last year, and Visual Studio 2015 is quite old. But I mean, you might be working in this since 2015. You think like four years for making such a development? And we can just go and retarget solution, so it's upgraded to our uh, platform toolset with the SDK that required and so on. And okay, so now it's all switched to our current platform, which is like. Visual Studio 2017, um, and then we can just build it all, build solution. It's easy as this. Of course, you might find some um, missing dependencies and problems in the middle, but that's how clear it is. You just need the SDK, you need to have Visual Studio installed, and you're just loading it, and it will run right away. And now let's look into the output folder. So here we have the inpaint, we have ISR, which is like super resolution, we have slow-mo, we have video super resolution too. And let's go back to my sample images. <coughs> can just copy them all here, so it's easy to run the command line. Can I open command line here? Yep. So we just do ISR, image super resolution, and let's look into documentation because that's actually my... Um, main goal of making these tutorials like people can just get some of how we can run the solutions how we search for this not not someone giving you the the, the, the fish but teaching you how to fish wow um in video super resolution input is an input image so i will just do input and my name of the input image is loris image Okay, and factor, that's how how multiplied you want it to be upscaled, like twice, like or four times, or eight times, and so on. And then the output would be um, high res image dot png. And the factor must be two, four, ah, I forgot to put the factor, so, sorry, sorry NVIDIA. And now, 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 done. We can open now our folder again where we were before. And we can find our high res image. And that's it comparing to the original low res image. So basically, it's upscaling using machine learning. Um, other than that, we have also uh, the end paint and in Paint, basically, if you want to remove an object from an image, and all what you need to do is like painting a mask where you want to remove the image, 
uh, sorry, move the object, and um, it will use machine learning to find what is the best fit for this case to fill the image. Um, so here, this one, we do in paint, in paint image and the mask and model zero. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the right way. Let me check out again what we have here in the documentation because it's, uh, super scaling, super resolution. Okay, for video, for slow motion, for okay, CUDA, and this one out. Ah, this one for DirectX. I get it. So let's go back here and we do in paint and then input the image was normal photo and the mask was normal photo mask and model zero output path should be specified how dare you nvidia not to put this one here okay output is um cleaned image dot png or jpeg whatever it's also quite nice to check out if they are supporting most of the formats. Okay, now we are done. And it's as quick as this. That's that's the powerful thing about having an RTX GPU. Um, because calculating wise it's way faster even than the solution that I found before on um, GitHub. So that's how it looks like and that's how the original image looked like. So there were a girl and they made a mask around the girl and that's the output. There is still some artifacts, but as um, as soft as the, the the mask is, I think it, that's how it works because I can see here there's some smudge, like like someone put his finger on the photo because the mask was very hard edged. I think the mask would be a little bit like fading, so when it thinks about what should fill, be filled here, it will work. And it's also somehow blurry in this area, but. Uh, I'm not judging it because it, it's really working nice comparing this to this. Comparing this to this. Um, yep, that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm coming back. And yeah, I have a lot of plans for the upcoming videos and I'm just looking for time to make it and sooner it will be released so i hope you enjoyed it and see you next time bye bye now here comes the music boom 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 i'm gonna shoot you right now boom boom